Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So our today's topic is interconversion of wedge dash and sawhorse projection formula. That is we will try to understand how to convert uh, the wedge dash projection formula to sawhorse projection formula and sawhorse projection formula back to wedge dash projection formula. Let us first see how to convert wedge dash projection formula to sawhorse projection formula. So if you look at this wedge dash projection formula, you can see that this is the front carbon from this bird's perspective. If you look, this is the first carbon or the carbon which is closest to the observer or this bird. So you can see that this iodine atom which is out of the plane of the paper would be appearing to this bird as it is on the right side. So this is the sawhorse projection formula and this is a front carbon. So iodine will be coming at the right as you can see here. Bromine which is going into the plane of the paper which would be appearing to this bird as it is on the left. So bromine is at the left. Then this methyl which is in the plane of the paper is at the bottom. So we write methyl over here. Now in this structure you can see that the bond connecting the two carbons is easily visible in sawhorse projection formula as well which was not the case in case of Newman projection formula. Newman projection formula we cannot see this carbon carbon bond. Now let us see for the backside carbon or rare carbon. Again we do the same exercise that is Iodine on the right which is coming out of the plane of the paper would be appearing to this bird as it is on the right side. So we write iodine over here. Similarly bromine will be on the left which is going into the plane of the paper. We write it over here. And finally the methyl group which is in the plane of the paper will be at the top. So this is how easy it is to convert wedge dash projection formula to Sawhorse projection formula. Now let us do the reverse. That is, so this is the sawhorse projection formula. Now let us try to convert this sawhorse projection formula into wedge dash projection formula. Again, we start with our front carbon, and if you see from this cat's perspective, you would find that this amine group or amino group is on the right which means it is coming out of the plane of the paper. So in the wedge dash projection formula first we write this four carbon chain that is this one two three and four we write down this four carbon chain and uh, the amino group which is on the right would be coming out of the plane of the paper so we write it over here and the hydroxyl group or OH group which is on the left would be going into the plane of the paper or going away from us. So we write it on the dash bond. And the methyl which is in the plane of the paper we have already written here. Now let us see for the back or the rare carbon. Again we write down the methyl which is in the plane of the paper which would remain in the plane of the paper and represented as normal line as you can see here. The amino group or amine group which is on the right which means it is coming out of the plane of the paper and we represent it on the solid wedge or wedge bond. And the hydroxyl group which is on the left which would be going into the plane of the paper we write it on the dash bond. So in this way we can convert sawhorse projection formula to wedge dash projection formula. So here we come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much. And please do like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting content. And also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the regular notification and updates. Thank you so much.